Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. You like my t-shirt? Yeah, it's a new, these are bass guitars. Like five string bass. I've never played a five string bass. But, hi everyone. Hope you're doing well on here. This is my September TBR. And I've read Catcher in the Rye many times, many times. I'm a big J.D. Selinger fan. I'll probably get another edition of this, but I've got this on Kindle. I've got the audio of it. But this is a nice pocket edition. And I'm buddy reading this with Bad is Rad. She's never read it before, so I love turning people on to new books, especially some of my favorites. Uh, Jim at uh, Jim's book reading and stuff mentioned me in a, a recent video of his on Catcher in the Rye because he reread it again due to my suggestion and really liked it the second time as an adult. So there you go. The Master and Margarita. I've never read this classic. Now, my friend Nettie at Digging Butts turned me on to this, as it were. I've got the audio of it. But the print is so, so small in this. Look, it's a really small print. So I also have this on my Kindle. And I uh, also have it on audio. And I'm going to tackle this in September. Now, I'm a big fan of Shakespeare all my life as a kid. Before there was audio books, we'd get uh, VCR tapes from the library, from the BBC, put it in there, get some of my dad's Guinness from the tap, read the text, and just get into Shakespeare. I'm still doing that method of reading today. I saw Richard III in Chicago at uh, Steppenwolf Theater, and it was a, an amazing performance. The the uh, actor who played Richard III was disabled, and he uh, used a wheelchair. Sometimes he used an electronic device in his legs that he'd be able to walk, walk around. And it was uh, really dramatic and really um, traumatic in a way. Great uh, performance. So I've been a fan of Richard III. I've seen Al Pacino uh, do it on... Uh, YouTube. I'll probably watch that again. I love the history about Richard III, how they, they've they dug him up in England. There's documentaries about this. They dug up his body and found him and uh, reconstructed his face and everything. And he doesn't quite look like the Richard III that you think. You know, a kingdom for my horse and all that. No, he's, uh, anyway... If I had skills, I'd link all that below. Now, another book I'm reading is Rebel, Bull Run, 1861, by Bernard Cornwell. This uh, is a book that Greg, my friend, uh, another bibliophile reads, suggested, because I'm going to see him in October out to Virginia. And uh, one of the things we're going to do is spend a day at uh, the Fredericksburg Battlefield in Bull Run and get into some Civil War. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I'm also uh, listening to some audio, audible things on Bull Run. And we'll see if I, I'll use my Kind Master and I'll put up a, uh, like I used to do a lot of editing. We'll see if I do it here. And finally, The Peace of Resistance. Reading some Mad Magazine. Now look at that fist. How many fingers do you count? How many fingers do you count? I'll count one, two, three, four, five, and the thumb is six. So Mad Magazine. Alfred E. Newman. So that's my September wrap up. If you, uh, what was my question? Oh, yeah. What do they call Shape Tube now? 
Steve Donahue used to do it. Uh, but, you know, I know they're reading Romeo Juliet, Richard the Third, and then some other book, but I can't find it. Shaky September, or what's it called? Leave me a note in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, make a comment, I'll reply back to you. Later.